In this video, I will teach you how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube, also known as the Mini Cube or the Pocket Cube. If you can already solve 3x3, three three, that's great, because this one works the same way, minus a few steps and algorithms. Algorithms are simply the series of moves that you use to get one piece where it needs to go. You'll only need to learn two of those in this, so it makes it very easy. Now, scramble your cube if you haven't done so already. Don't worry, by the end of this video, you should be able to solve it, no problem. Um, I can solve this cube using this method in an average of 40 seconds, but my record is 36 seconds. So I think that's pretty good. Now, first thing you want to do is choose the side you want to work on first. We're going to do this layer by layer, just like with a 3x3, three three. although you may have a different approach. I think layer by layer works best. It's a good beginner method. Now, choose a corner you want to work off of. I'm going to work off of this one, and I'll be solving the green side first. Um, now, one of the most important things with this is you need to make sure all of the edges, as well as the top face, match up. So get those edges to line up. I'll show you an incorrect top side. There. Some people go around saying, oh, look, I did one face. Well. Yeah, it looks like you did the top side, but not really, because look at the edges. That means that these corners are all in the wrong place. So, always, always make sure the edges are matching. This beginning part here is mostly logic. If you can't get through this step, then you should just probably give up, because it's pretty simple. Now, I'll be working off this corner. So, uh, if you already have two corners, two green corners, or whatever color you're using, and their edges match up, work off of those. Obviously, you don't want to mess that up. You've already got something to start with. Now, let's see. Here's my main corner, and there's a blue edge. This corner here also has a blue edge. Look for another corner with a matching edge. Since it's already next to it, all you need to do is turn it down and simply move it out of the way. Now, it is no longer on the top. Now what you want to do is find the target corner. Target corner is just the location where you wish to get your corner to go. That's right here. Get your cube to go underneath the target corner. Target corner, actual corner. Now whichever face it's on is going to turn inward towards this corner. Like that or like this. Okay. So it's on this face. Don't go like this. That would be wrong if it's over here. Go like this. And look. It's in place. So now, you just bring it up. Make sure the edges match. And of course, the top side should match. So let's see. Now we're looking for one with a red edge. And here we have it. Here is a tricky situation when the cube is on the bottom, or the side, I mean. So you get the green on the bottom. It's underneath the target corner. That's what we want to do. Um, it doesn't matter which side you turn, the front face or the right face. I usually just do the right face because I'm stronger with my right hand on the Rubik's Cube. So I'll do that again. It's on the bottom. I'll turn this face. It's now over here. Turn the bottom once or twice. And the cube is right there. Now bring it on the target corner. Once again, it's on the right face. We'll turn that down. Bring it around. There it is on the top. Now the last corner. Sometimes people get stuck here because it seems impossible to get a corner there. It's not it really isn't. Okay. Under the target corner, it's on this face this time. So we turn this face, bring it around, and pull it up. Now you have the top side and the edges. So the top layer is done. And that was the easy part. Now we have to get into the algorithms where there's basically no logic and you barely have to think. Uh, it's like the cube is solving itself. But first you need to know the notation. The mini cube uses the same notation as the 3x3 three three cube. U stands for upper, D stands for down, R stands for right, L stands for left, F is front, and B is back. When you're performing an algorithm, 
you look at the cube from whichever angle you need to. Meaning, you does not always have to be green. You know, you could be red or blue or yellow. Just whatever color, whatever color, whatever side you happen to be looking at. The next algorithm, you'll want to look at the cube like an isometric view, looking on to one corner. That's pretty much how you'll always be holding the cube. I sort of hold it like this, so I can see three sides at a time. Now, U, just letter U, would mean upper side turns clockwise. Like that. Uh, UI, I stands for inverse, would mean the upper side turns counterclockwise. And it's always a quarter turn, or 90 degrees. If it said 2U, that would mean turn the top side twice. Now, of course, it doesn't matter which direction you turn it twice. It'll always end up the same. But if it's only a quarter turn, make sure you're turning it the right direction. If you mess up one move in an algorithm, the whole algorithm will not work. So make sure you follow these algorithms very closely, and they should get you where you want to be. So for this next one, the first step is finding a corner that is in the right place. These corners just happen to have the yellow side facing up. Yellow is opposite green on the mini cube. But sometimes you'll only get one corner facing up or even none facing up. So they may look like they're correctly turned now, but after this step, most likely you'll need to turn them correctly. Now when I say a cube is in the right place but not cur turned correctly, I mean that, you know, it could be where it needs to be. You just need to flip it. In my case, I got very lucky and I have a cube in the right place and turned correctly. Sometimes you can twist it a few times and all the cubes, just by turning the top, all the cubes will get to be in the right spot. If not, you will need to use the following algorithm to get the cubes where they want to be. Here's an example when a corner is in the right spot, as you can see with the blue, orange, yellow corner, but it is not turned correctly. We will fix that later. The other corners are shaded gray because it doesn't really matter how they are turned. What this move will do is it will switch the corners as shown here. It will rotate three of the corners in a counterclockwise direction. This will get the corners, hopefully, in the right spot after you perform this algorithm. If it doesn't work, simply perform it again. I recommend writing that algorithm down so you don't have to watch my video a million times. Okay, so all you have to do now is perform that algorithm. Make sure you are looking head on at the correct corner, okay? Here's one correct corner. Make sure only one is in the right spot. If there are two opposites in the right spot, do that algorithm and then turn the cube until only one is in the right spot. You always want to have only one corner in the right location. Now in this case, this would be U, this would be F, R, and all the other sides. Now, let's do the algorithm. Okay, like I said before, uh, this should get the corners in the right spot. Like this corner doesn't look like it's right, but it really is. You have it where it needs to go, and next we just need to flip it like that. That next step is confusing but short. Um, and that is the final step that would get them all where they need to be. If you just did that algorithm I showed you, and the corners are still not in the right spot, once again, find one corner that's in the right spot, perform the algorithm, and hopefully it will place the corners.